All right, welcome back to another episode. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these. So actually, I was 1581 and then in one day I dropped 81 points and I gained back 57 of them yesterday. I think like 26 today, so 1583 as of now. My highest ever is 1590, so I'm basically one win away from breaking that. And also I'm 10 games unbeaten. I thought I was in a 10 game winning streak, but I drew this game here. So let's see. Let's see if we could get 11th game unbeaten and 10th game in a row. Okay, for this one, I'm going to search for a 15 plus 10. And we're paying a 1667. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to, I'm going to play the, the scotch game and see how this turns out. All right, take. I think opponent might take her, or I think the best move might be to get the bishop out. We will see. I lose six points for losing this and gain 10 points if I do. If I'm being honest, I currently feel like I should be a 1600. So I think I'll give this guy a good game. As long as I don't blunder, that'd be great. All right, so the idea is here. I mean, I, the first thing that comes to my mind was a pawn push, but it just grabs, I think. So this is hanging. I could just defend or I could pin. If I pin, I'm just going to probably get pushed out here. So it doesn't seem good to me so i'm gonna defend and then maybe i could get this bishop out and then castle and then we just move on from there i think okay so i'm pinned here if i do this the thing is i hang this piece so i can't play this another option is i could just get the trade in full store opponent to double and then get my bishop out i think i like that better yeah let's do this and then in fact i could have this push later on as well oh okay yeah that's 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 i didn't didn't consider that for some reason and i think i think wait probably take this way because this way i'll just take trade the queens so we both have messed up pawn structures i do have this file maybe but right now i just i just want to do something like this i think i think i like that so i will and then get the bishop out because i assume opponent's going to just enter the center like this so i have this liability here actually his pawn structure here is slightly better so i'm pinned probably just want to protect this pawn with this bishop does the opponent play something like this to remove the defender i think i think that might be a decent move i accept it will hang the knight so you can't play that so I'm going to play this. This seems sensible to me. Also, yeah, I want to just get off a castle at this point. This queen is actually pretty decently placed now because all these squares are weak, to be fair. All right, so knight comes in, attacks my bishop. I think I go a step back here. I don't really think I have an option here, so... And then I could maybe kick this knight out after, but that does make a hole here. All right, we're just going to move back because, I mean, it just makes sense. I really want to castle because this pawn... Uh, this pawn will be protected by a tactic if I, if I could just castle. Because let's say I just castle... And he takes, he would have been pinned by my rook, but I mean, it doesn't work now because he's just castled. Okay, let me just take some notes about what the weakness of the opponent are. So if I could somehow drag this pawn away from this file, these two pawns would be weak as well, just like mine. All right, I want to develop my bishop here because I don't want to put it here. Then I, I obstruct this push here. I, I really want to get rid of this weak pawn or something or just use it to do something. I also don't want to put my bishop here and have to trade like this i do win a pawn but i feel like this pawn is weak anyway i feel like i should be able to grab this pawn somehow in the, in the future so i prefer to put it here then maybe i could slide here so i have this nice little x-ray yeah now i'm ready to castle as well <laughs> so this is quite strange i've literally completely missed that move but to be honest that pawn was always gonna fall so i'm not like too upset but it's, it's one of it's one of those again when i'm starting to miss moves again it's a bit strange but i could i could do this and maybe i could discover and take but this isn't obviously like that's that's just hoping that will be the case but i think opponent might, might just go back yeah all right, i'm gonna play this because obviously my queen's attacked i do want a castle but i can't do it but the only move that actually mad i missed to be honest is there was there a way of defending that i just i just had to push first and then hops in here. Okay, so there's this discovery. But I see this now. Take and take. So I'm going to castle. I think I'm going to castle. Because, I don't know. This does look good though. I have a bishop pair. Do I want to give the bishop pair up like this? This knight's going to go back here. And it's going to be annoying to deal with. I think i got to do this. This is a nice bishop though. Huh. And there's this move coming. I mean this. Not yet though. Not yet. Because then I could just grab this. Or I could just castle. Alright, I think I'm just going to go for this. I think I'll just go. And then I'll castle. So I'll grab that pawn back. I guess I jeopardize the king's safety a bit. But I mean, this seems a bit weak. Not going to lie. I'm not sure if this was the brightest idea. <laughs> Alright, so if I take... He's just going to undouble his pawns. Actually, I can't take. Because this, this is pinned. 
I mean, okay, here I'm gonna castle. Because if takes, I could just win this pack anyway. And then this is actually a weakness, these two. So we might have something going on there. All right, question is, do I take with the queen? All right, I have two isolated pawns. These are isolated base. These are, these are isolated. But these are also doubled. So his pawn structure is actually weaker. Do I play this? Or do I take with the queen? Kind of want to take with the queen. I don't know. I mean, this, this there's a battery here, obviously. But I think it just pushes the pawn. That does create another weakness. I'm taking this way. And then I could even get behind this. But I, I assume this, this move here is coming. So I think I will have to just go back for now. Do I switch my attack this way with a check first? So what do I want to do? I could, I mean, move the bishop to these squares. I can take. That doesn't do anything, though. This take doesn't do anything. Move back. Do I keep the tension this way? Maybe target this. So if I attack, is he going to protect this way? And trap this other rook behind here? Or just push this way, but I could just win that. I think I'm going to go for this. So I could play this. I don't, I could also kick the queen out as well. Because if I play this, I'm attacking this bishop. If he protects this way, I take. And then this bishop will fall. So we have to protect with the rook. This other rook, which traps the other rook in. I think I like that. Okay, that move is played. Centralizing the queen. It seems a bit dangerous until you see this move here. <laughs> Discovering the attack, mating one, and then you hang a bishop. That's the idea, I think. So I'll, this makes me want to just play this move here, attacking this rook, or attack this queen right away. If I attack this queen, then this doesn't really do anything because I'll just take the queen. If I move here, does, does he move up here? I do take a fire and then I could do this and maybe even get my rook up here. Or does he move here? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not missing a move, but I like this. So I attack this queen. I assume, I assume this is on the cards. But worst case, I think I could just force a trade, but it's just double, double another set of pawns. But now I could get a rook up here. That's the thing. So he, he, okay, I didn't see this move. That's a nice defense. Oh wait, it doesn't do anything. Then if the rook comes, then I could double up here? Or should I just do this? I have to force this rook here. First, this, but this push. But then I could take this, no? Take. And then I, I could just, my rook's just going crazy. This push. Alright, I think this works. Because then it has to defend this way. So then I could get this rook up here, no? Defends that way. Now I could just do this push oh i don't think it works oh it does i could just do check and protect all right i'm gonna take i think this is the idea from my opponent but check and then i protect the square and he has to deal with this mess okay it still goes for it i just want to make sure i have something better because i mean i could just take but that's losing material so i think check here that's the only only way to protect so this is protected and then i'll just take this piece okay once queen trade i mean i'm happy to take that i'll take this rook as well and so we're up material let's be careful this this piece is pinned so we might be able to do something here just resigns let's go 10 points 1593 one win away one win away and i think we'll do that tomorrow one win away that's my 10th win 11th game undefeated all right let's go so i'll play with 88.8 .8 accuracy Says I played as a 2000, but you know, we don't trust these ratings. <laughs> but let's see how this went down. E4, E5. So I went for the scotch. Opponent played this well. So I took took back. Alright, so apparently I had a little advantage here. I thought I was actually doing worse. I guess not. So here, I also played a, a bit of an inaccuracy. So I guess all my advantage, that mini advantage I had is gone. Queen moves to E7. I protect my e5 pawn overlooked a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack and permitted the opponent to win a temple by friend of bishop yeah i mean yeah there was a temple here but i don't see a better way of defending what's the best i am not playing that move <laughs> hmm like you, you have a huge hole here but not really because this pawn could just protect that square i think this does make sense like it's come to the point where i gotta actually learn to not be scared to make some weaknesses because you could you could see that there's actually no decent respond response from my opponent here literally like has to put the knight in a stupid square like that and then i think we grab a pawn here we 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 don't because i guess we don't want to fall for this fork here all right takes trade 
Like this pawn, I'll probably grab it. Yeah, so it's just showing. Okay, yeah, I mean, this, this is just going too far now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's showing me like 30 moves, but yeah, so here we are. I step back after being attacked, castles. I develop, so okay, this was the best move. Yeah, I just want to know what the engine thinks of this move here. This is excellent. All right, all right. But then, yeah, I mean, I played this move and I got this taken. I was about to be quite annoyed and tilted with myself that I missed this move, but that's obviously not the right, right way to go about my business here. So opponent took, I develop. So here's a mistake. This was a miss. Damn. Should I have just castled? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like this knight, right, it's disconnected from everything. It's just kind of, kind of looks dumb. But then here, it's like nicely placed. I don't really see a good way of removing that. After this bishop move as well, supporting this pawn for when they capture. So I was like, I'm not really going to get rid of this piece. So I, I took my chance. All right, take. So we have a mistake here. Our castle. Take take all right so that was the best move taken with the bishop so he does create the weakness there apparently it's inaccuracy this is a mistake i thought this was a very clever move i thought this was the move that won me the game no hmm. what well, could have gone wrong yeah so i'll play that just moves back and then i win a pool no exactly i guess i still have an advantage there but i think i missed something that would have given me even a greater advantage so here i'm 1.5 but after i play my move i'm 0 0.9 all right, so it wants a queen move. Something. Whoa, what? Oh, it wants me to throw in a check. Yeah, but I mean, it has these two squares. Probably don't want to step in here. That looks. That doesn't look very good. So maybe we just like move back. All right, so check moves back, and then what? I don't know. I mean, this is a dangerous move to be fair though. It's good. What's the best? Oh, this check. What's the difference? Steps forward. That's weird. Steps forward. Check. All right, blocks. You bring another piece in, moves. All right, keep the pin. Okay, yeah, this is this is like a good position, better position for sure. Uh, but I don't understand why after checking can't just move back. That makes that makes no more sense, no. But then you have this queen move, but then they'll take. All right, so this check. I want to see what happens if if the opponent moves back. Sacrifice. Whoa, opening up lines. What the? Take takes to the queen. Then you have this. Oh, and then you win this. All right, yeah, that, that is indeed a very good position. All right, opponent plays this. It looks like kind of a weird move, but yeah, I guess it's a good move. So then I attack. Like, it looked like a weird move. Then I realized what the idea was, was to push and win this bishop. So I've been really focusing on not blundering. So I, I spotted this happily. Moves back. And this is an inaccuracy. I want me to do this check here. Oh, wait, that's not a check. What am I talking about? This fool's a queen trade. That's stupid. But this check here. That's the block. And I guess we trade her. I would have traded. Because then my pawn structure would be messed up. I, I watched um, a lesson from a national master on chess.com today. And now, like, I will never understand why I would actually force a queen trade her. But now I understand that the opponent, like I said earlier, has actually won more of a weakness than I do. So this is actually a winning end game for me. So if I just simplified down the pieces, I'd win. So, but I just didn't, just didn't think to see because I was kind of focused on trying to go for this little idea here. So I did play it. Opponent blunders right away because <laughs> they had to. They had to play this rook move. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they had to. Or just move back. Yeah, that's that's an idea as well. But then you know, I'm happy to take this file, and then I, I could even bring this rook in. So I, it looked like it was fine for me, which it is fine. It's 1.5 to me. Then blunders take. It goes to the idea. I check blocks take. I win the rook, and then I mean, this was like game's gonna be over because. He's, he's pinned there. Like, I'm gonna, I'm just going to bring this rook in and take this piece and just win this as well. Yeah, so it'll, it'll be game over two rooks versus one. Looks all down a bunch of pawns as well. Okay, 1593. Feeling good, looking good. One win away from 1600. Uh, yeah, highest ever. My target was to hit 1600 by the end of November. I'm a bit late. I've skipped a few days. Uh, that's why it didn't really happen. And also I had a big, big setback, like a huge setback the other day, literally like two days ago, which has recovered and went beyond. So let's see from this point on, hopefully we'll get into 1600s and keep going until 1650 and maybe even 1700 by the end of, by the time we start New Year's, I feel. So yeah, thanks for sticking by and I'll see you here tomorrow.